this is the code section. So the first thing, if we want to implement the data or real data into our prototype, is that we need to import JSON. JSON, in definition, is a text or a sort of like data which written in text using JavaScript syntax that later will be able to add in our prototype. So first to import JSON, what you want to do is to what, type data or whatever the name you want to type. In this case, for the simplicity of this tutorial, I'm just going to use data equal JSON parse utils dot download data sync. Okay, and then I want to add the API. So you may find more various APIs on the website and stuff online. But here, for the simplicity, I'm using the random user API. Okay, so this is the website and this is the link. So as you can see, this is the example of JSON. It may be confused for some, but in this case, this is just get JavaScript telling you details of each random context from gender, first name, title, last name, locations, email, postcode, or whatever. So I'm just going to click the email and copy all of them. I'm just going to close this. I'm just going to add right over here. So this is okay for now. Now to prove that we already successful adding the data, we can do print data and as you can see on the screen here, we got the data, we got the JSON here. So we can scroll as you want it. As you can see, yep. So these are all the data. Okay, now I'm just going to quit this and delete the print data here. Now we're going to add the JSON inside this list. Okay, so the solution is pretty simple that we need to do four in loops to add all the data into arrays, okay? So if you haven't familiar with the framework basics in this case, I'll leave you the suggested videos on the corner. Please watch that before doing this one. Now, let's get it started. Now I'm just gonna add the create array of loops to insert JSON to prototype okay so now I'm just going to use X for example equals zero so X means the initial base of the data which is starting from zero so later we are able to add or increment more data from the uh, beginning okay so if you're getting confused just let uh, just watch the video and do your own code in your screen. Now I'm just going to go with the four index here in uh, details. So why details? So as you can see on the design section here, details is the parent for the entire box, which is contain surname, name, avatar for each box is here uh, down below. Okay, so. Please do the target names here for details and lists will be used later as a scroll components. So let's go back to the code and I'm just gonna go with details children and uh, index.children in the array of let's say zero. Okay, so in the array of zero, so by means that as you can see here, we have the image here. And we have the name and surname. So 0, 1, and 2. Okay. So I dot children in 0 dot image equals to data results x picture large. So it will randomize the picture as you can see in the data array of 0. Okay, so that's cool. Now, this means that we add the data results of x in the array of 0 of the index in details. So, these are all index, okay, 
under the hood of the details or the children of details and each of them are having uh, data such as the this is the, the image data the first name data and the second name data the zero array the first array uh, data in the array and the second data in the array zero one two all right so let's go back and let's add something more uh, in this case I'm adding now one and I'm just gonna add text date data results x dot uh, let's say in first name so as you can see the first name is uh, assigned okay now we're going to add the later of the uh, second name I mean the last name so of course it's two a equals to data result x name last name there you go it's also printed out very cool so if you again print data here for uh, more better information as you can see this uh, data have the last name and the uh, first name so for example this is the first name so this is the last name so this is the first name this is the last name okay all right, so let's just delete this print data and quit this. Now, for more entertainment, I want the data name uh, to be capitalized. So it's much more better in terms of UI and um, proper uh, name allocation. So I'm just gonna go with I children in the first array. I'm going to go with the transform text. I'm sorry, I mean, I mean, text transform capitalize. Watch out for any typos. So, there you go. Barbara B is capitalized. Now, I'm going to do the same with this last name. Oops. So there you go. Now the problem is that this is only stored in the same data because we haven't increment um, the array of our uh, details uh, children here. We have a lot of boxes, but we just store x to zero by means that these are all equals to x to zero. So the data will be added to the same position because we didn't add or increment the um, our own uh, sort of like uh, data place okay so we need to add our data place um, so the uh, JSON can store based on our uh, data place amount which easily do by adding increment to the X there you go very cool right now for some Im improvisation okay so now for some improvisation in the ux i want this contact to be scrolled so to do that it's it's a uh, very simple it's a uh, framer basics if you have been familiar with please check out the suggested video in the corner now i'm just gonna do this let's say uh 150 and then i'm gonna add the scroll component there you go parent list okay so this is the parent of the uh, latest scrolled uh, contacts this is the list okay go back to the code and size equals to screen dot size content inset equals to top equals to scroll start as you can see we call this scroll start as the inset of the top and for the bottom we add like probably 25 and scroll horizontal is false because we want to do vertical and scroll center back like 
copy layer and we add the details parent equals to scroll content so I've just changed the bottom to uh, 0 0.2 and let's test it out so it works perfectly so there you go this is very simple okay in terms of UI and the UX but in terms of real data this could be something new for you and it provides a lot of advantages when you do more complex prototyping okay so thank you so much for watching please subscribe to support this channel and follow my social media for daily updates and thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video uh, watch our bye bye have a great day